on to additions, deletions, and reorganization of the agenda, I just want to um, talk a little bit. I know that you all um, are familiar with the article that was in the paper this weekend about um, uh, our, our water plant and some of the testing that's been done. Uh, one of the things I want to say up front and make very clear to anybody who's interested and who's listening is that we test our water hundreds of times a day in multiple different places. Um, and um, throughout, and I, I've got results of those tests if you want to see them, but never have we seen our water um, in any way compromised. The water continues to be just fine. I want to reassure the public that the water is just fine. Um, we are looking at a personnel issue here uh, in terms of following standard operating procedures, and we are investigating that and have been working on that for a number of weeks. Um, and uh, I was going to ask uh, Mr. Um, Green to bring us up to date on the work that we've done uh, over the last actually month that we've been working on this uh, and uh, where we are at this point. But rest assured that our water's fine. It's tested multiple times a day. And when I say hundreds, I mean hundreds. Every 15 minutes we take a reading, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and our readings are just fine. Mr. Green? Thank you, Mayor. Um, this process really started on February 12th when we were notified that um, there were some concerns regarding whether some of our employees weren't following the proper process for collecting water samples. And as the mayor mentioned, um, the water sample process, sampling process is part of a larger um, process for determining water quality. Not only do we do water sampling at various locations around the city, but as the mayor mentioned, we have um, an automated monitoring system that at the plant itself that does testing every 15 minutes. Further out in the distribution system, um, there's additional um, testing areas where, again, on every 15 minutes the water quality has is, is been checked. And then the last part of the process is some of the water sampling that's done by lab, te lab technicians out in the field. And the process out in the field is the one where um, there was a concern raised whether um, employees were following the proper process. So when we were notified of that, um, we immediately, um, because it is an issue, um, we brought the health department in. Um, we had a, an internal review of our processes. Um, we met with employees. We talked about the processes and the SOPs that we have in place. Um, we had discussions with the health department, and because it involved the, the water quality in our system, we asked them to do an independent investigation to look at you know, the, the um, issues that were raised along with all of the reporting that the mayor just mentioned. Um, while that report is not completed yet, uh, we did receive an email from the uh, health department which um, based on the review to date, they don't believe that there's any, excuse me, I'm not going to say don't believe, they haven't seen anything in, in anything they've seen so far that would say that our water quality was compromised um, and we continue to wait for the final report which we hope we'll have in the next week or so. Um, because uh, of the allocations, we have spent time with our employees. We've looked at our quality control officers. Um, we're reiterating the SOPs that are in place and how we make sure that um, everyone follows those procedures. Um, and that's where we are in the process um, today. And I ju just want to add that we have operating procedures that are in writing. Um, uh, all of our people have been trained to follow those operating procedures. Um, if they're not following them, we will find that out. Um, but I think it was irresponsible to suggest in any way that our water was compromised by this, the, our water quality was compromised by this, because it was not. Again, we test it hundreds of times a day. The, the health department has said that it, it um, you know, it, it has not seen anything that would have compromised the water quality. And I want to make sure that the, the folks out there um, who turn on their water and turn on their tap understand that their water is just fine. Um, so that's the update on um, our water situation.